Amit and thank you AIS for having me here today. And uh, uh, I think I'm just going to reiterate a couple of points that they, these guys have already made so beautifully. Alokesh, Pratip, everybody has already said I'm taking just a part and part of that. So <laughs> let's take a case, uh, especially the pachymetry. You know, there's a lot of confusion uh, the way we teach our students. So we know what this normal pachymetry is and we say that yes, it is thinner in NTG, thicker in ocular hypertension and the thinner are worse. So we had this uh, patient, the field is normal, the disc is normal, there's no wedge defect. Uh, the CCT is 620 microns and the DV was varying from 20 to 24 millimeters, OCT was normal, field is normal. So I thought, yeah, let us just follow up this patient because if I take 14 micron, one millimeter, that kind of a thing, everything will be fine. And we told him to come every six months, but he walked in after a year. And a year later, I was shocked to see that there is a small wedge defect. So the field is still normal, but there's an early wedge defect telling us that the structural damage is the first damage that occurs. And when you see at OCT, you see, oh, the OCT has also got damage now. So Essentially, I should have started the patient on treatment and what I forgot was that the thicker things should not be taken at its star value and what uh, later I read, Parks has already said in 2012 that adjusting IOP by CCT correction can be erroneous, especially in thicker cornea. So you have to be very, very careful. So please remember, thicker the cornea, you can relax to some extent, but please do not take it into the star calculator and do not fall prey like I do. <laughs> so uh, I, I think Alokesh has already told that 26 to 28, anybody with a family history, thera corneas, any suspicious disc changes, probably we will treat in these cases. And optic nerve head is the heart of glaucoma evaluation that Pratif has already told you. So that's why what is basically happening, like he said, I'll retreat this week get so many of these cases, we teach, yes, asymmetry is important. But then people see these things and they, they jump. They say, oh my God, this cup looks very large. They are not looking that the striations are good. They are not looking that the NRR is healthy. Everything is fine. There's no hemorrhage, nothing. But they will doing all, start doing all investigations. And the fields are normal and you do OCT and then you realize that actually the left disc was larger. That's what Pratip was trying to say, that larger the disc, the larger the cup, but people forget it and start treating. So this, Pratip has already said, you have to actually measure the disc size always. And if you're using a 90 disc like we normally do, you have to multiply by 1.3. And then you can, uh, with the help of a slit lab, you can really measure the size. So what happened, these small kids with larger cups are being referred to us every day with so many examinations. The first thing you need to do is make the father or the mother sit down and you realize, oh my God, it is the same kind of a thing. So we need not treat. This is so much of over-treatment which is going on in physiological disc. And this is one of the biggest uh, mistakes in decision-making that is going on. Again, another very important thing that is happening, a patient came to me 50 years uh, everything else is normal, the pressure is normal, CCT is normal, vision is normal, high myo, and there was a field effect like this and he was being treated <coughs> for glaucoma. But I said, this doesn't look like it. So we dilated and, and the, even the OCT was normal. So when we dilated, we realized there was a huge area of abnormal retina over there and we looked at the OCT in the periphery, we realized there was a retinochysis over there. So every day what is happening is field effects which are due to retinal problems are being treated as glaucoma every, every day. So please be very, very careful. There may be large cryo marks. People do not dilate and look in the periphery. Whenever there is a suspicious field effect which does not look like glaucomatous, please be very careful. And that even the disc is abnormal is normal. So you have to be really, really careful in these cases. You put the patient off medication and he's good for a long, long time. <laughs> Another uh, mistake that we found was that this is a classical case of thyroid ophthalmopathy. The patient is fixed in looking down this. 
they, the entire family came comes running to me the pressure is 50 do the field everything is normal they are going to operate and what you do is because the pressure is 50 why is the pressure 50 the patient has got thick muscles when they tell the patient to look up it retracts and the pressure goes high so all you need to do is take in the primary position use perkins take in the primary position the pressure and the pressure is 12 and the patients are so happy similarly you can go tilt your this thing and it will become normal so please don't fall prey to this <clears throat> Again, uh, Alokesh has very nicely said this, but this is one of the cases that we had a uh, 57 year old male who came to us, 6'6, 6'18, 6'18, because it was an amblyopic eye. Uh, this is the picture, classical glaucometer's picture, superior notch, inferior field defect, inferior notch. This is the tilted disc which was having amblyopia. There's a superior field defect. So, classically, fits into it. The pressures are all normal. Uh, CCT is normal. So we made a probable diagnosis of normal tension glaucoma. Patient was put on uh, PG analog, advised follow up after three months, but the patient did not turn up for 26 months. When he comes back, all the things are stable, same. And uh, I told my uh, resident, Deva, sub bilkul badiya. what a beautiful treatment we did. Then the patient quietly said, Sir, I never put the medicine after three months. So it is. So this is what NTG is for you. Whether we were right in starting the treatment or the patient was right in stopping the treatment. So basically, like allocation very clearly said, forty percent will be okay without treatment. So one has to be very very careful. You have to rule out burnt out glaucoma, steroid induced glaucoma, postural prostate syndrome, traumatic or sudden elevation, or the one of the commonest causes a lot of blood loss. So these cases, you have to be very careful. This is a glaucoma. This looking like glaucoma, not actually glaucoma. And people are treating like glaucoma. So you treat if it is threatening fixation, if the IOP is in higher ranges, there are disc or field changes, there are soft criteria like wider diagonal variation, new optic disc hemorrhage, a localized notch, younger age, systemic hypotension, etc. So you have to be extremely careful be careful because treating these patients means starting a PG analog, which is expensive. Thank you very much.